tell this story about the person I employed to recruit for my branch many years ago. No one can comprehend why someone would tell lies. They are going to be found out. I remember an interview, this guy, let's call him Bob. Mm -hmm. uh, he was the whole deal, wasn't he? He was smart, articulate. Mm -hmm. um, he'd been in recruitment for three years. He was enthusiastic. And we thought he'd fit really well into the team. Yeah, working with him was easy. Um, he did everything with a smile. He found new clients. He helped with existing clients. Everyone liked him. And he was successful filling jobs, making candidates, clients happy everything over that three month period. Um, then I remember our credit controller was following up on a payment and of one of the invoices and she was told uh, that one of Bob's clients had said they didn't know why they'd received an invoice for a person because they didn't start and the person on the invoice was not, not offered a job either. Ah, when what you told one? me, I remember, I was so puzzled. I remember speaking to the client myself and finding out what had happened. Mm. And they said that they, and then I decided to call up all yeah. the other companies where he'd raised invoices for filling yeah. jobs. And whoa, it turned out none of it was true. No, he pretended to fill these jobs because he just wanted to be seen to be successful. Um, and I couldn't understand was why. I mean, what was he going to do when he was found out? When we tackled him, if I remember, we called him in. And at first he completely denied it, yep. didn't he? Mm -hmm. And they said there was a misunderstanding that the candidates had accepted offers, but in a few cases they hadn't actually started. Yeah. What was he on? <laughs> um, you know, when someone starts a new job, you check them in. Yeah. And only when they find that they've actually started do you actually send them an invoice. Nice one. Nice try, Bob. <laughs> He finally admitted that he'd made these placements up and promised that he'd never do it again, but we obviously had to let him go for gross misconduct. Mm. It's hard to fathom. Anyway, he called me a few months later and uh, he said, I know you don't want to talk to me, Yvonne, but I'm begging you, I need a reference. Please give me a good reference. And I said, he said, I really need this job. I said to him, look, I will only tell the truth. That's what I will do. I'm mm -hmm. not going to. Anyway, he, he said, look, well, my wife has just had a miscarriage. She's going to leave me. Um, I said, I'm really sorry to hear that, Bob. Um, and then the line cut out. Mm. Did you believe him? No, it only took a moment. I decided to call Sally. I thought, this guy's a compulsive liar. But would he really lie about something like that? Anyway, I called her. There was a pause on the end of the phone. And then she actually said to me, there was silence, and then she actually said to me, I didn't realise it had got so bad. He is still lying, lying without thinking. And we never heard from him again, did we? We didn't. However, you'll be interested to know, <laughs> Jane, that he is, uh, for the purposes of Tales for the Crypt, I actually looked him up on LinkedIn. He is still in recruitment. Uh, he changes jobs on average yeah. every 12 months or so. Um, I suppose he has to do that because he might get found out mm. and have to move on.